What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of not starting or not launching issue you're currently having in Tower of Fantasy. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know that you guys know that that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, not bottom left but bottom corner, so just right click your taskbar, you're gonna open up your task manager and the next step is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner, clicking onto processes, ensuring that you are sticking around processes. And afterwards, just click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in T in order to find Tower of Fantasy. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, just simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you're going to simply end the task manager again. And the next step is going to be to take your Steam or wherever you downloaded it, you're going to need the launcher for that, or obviously your shortcut, and you're going to right click it and navigate down to your uh, properties and uh, click onto compatibility. Afterwards, uh, you need to go to compatibility mode and enable run this program in compatibility, compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8 and uh, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards and what is, once it is restored, it will see this little administrator symbol right on your Tower Fantasy shortcut. And uh, afterwards, you're going to double click it and start your game. That's it for the video. I hope th that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye. 